Hello, hello, this is Dilliard speaking from the Open Wardrobe Gang and welcome to yet another episode of our blind playthrough of Blasphemous. In the very last episode, a lot happened and it was a very eventful episode and I don't think I will be able to recall every single thing that happened, but in short, um, we uh, uncovered all of the secrets of the Mother of Mothers and we killed the uh, associated boss of the Arena. I believe his name was, wait a minute, I have it written down, um, over here it was Malquiades, the exhumane, Ar the exhumane archbishop, I believe, something, uh, something along the lines, definitely a very cool fight, mm, in terms of visuals, I do believe it's slightly, but still, um, takes the cake takes the number one spot uh, for the best fight visually in the game. Um, considering what we'll be doing today, as you can see, we are in the Brotherhood of the Silent Sorrow, and this is why and we are here because we will be turning this uh, knot of rosary rope to our friendly NPC over here. But more importantly, we will be doing a little bit of backtracking. Um, I've uh, f uh, fallen into a little uh, a vicious circle or a downward spiral. Um, of sorts um i've been hyping up the roots and the relic presumably that allows us to interact with uh, them um i've been saying for a very long time that when i find the item i will go back and pick up all of those important and interesting items that we've left uh, along the way and lo and behold we are 74 percent into you know uncovering the map and that relic is not showing up. It's nowhere to be found. So I thought to myself, okay, what if this relic or this item that we need is somewhere in a place that we've already uncovered, but we have to, uh, but in order to get it, we had to, you know, had access uh, to the red sand jumping technique or that other technique that allows us to um, walk through uneven ground that we got in the very last episode. So, you know, so yeah, I have to do a little bit of backtracking and see whether that's the case, because if we just continue moving forward, it, it, there is a possibility that we will never find the um, relic that uh, is used for interacting with the roots. Um, so that's what we will be doing today, um, uh, at least in the beginning of the episode, I will not be showing the entire backtracking process, you will just see me, you know, getting to the items, because running through um, the same environment is not that good of uh, a content, in my opinion. Yeah, but let's start uh, with this. Yes. Let's give it. Now let my fingers tie a new mystery. Thank you very much. Return once you possess new rosary knots to thread. May your heart be free of sin. Absolutely, my friend. Um, I've already made up my mind a little bit uh, off camera about what we should be picking on. I'm running kind of a defensive build, that has to be said. Um... It has to be said, I'm uh, running a little bit of a defensive build, so I thought, oh, it's a no-brainer. Let's put on the uh, the item that uh, gives me great protection against magical attacks, right? As those bonuses uh, apparently stuck. And we are in the Brotherhood of the Silent Sorrow, because if my memory serves me right, the very first room that we could, in one way or another, access over here... Um, is the one in which we start of the game. If uh, my memory serves me right, there was like a red sand over there that we could interact with and get to new heights. And hopefully we will be able to, you know... Um, hopefully we will be able to, you know, get the... Get the relic or get the item that allows us to interact with uh, with the roots and you know continue continue our journey forward because i too cannot uh, cannot wait to get to new content it has to be said yeah there is something oh fuck you yeah this is totally what i've been saying 
See, there is red sand in the sky, but sadly we also need the freaking roots. Um, okay. That just means I'll uh, just make a small cut and whether we are and whenever we are close to any of those items back in here or if I find anything new while running through these areas again, I'll let you guys know. So, see you in a minute. Okay, okay, we are in the mountains of the Endless Dusk and here we have the very first item, Hype Hype, is it it? Is this it? Dried Clove. I have a weird feeling this is an item for the kissers in Albero. Uh, rare and fragrant spice coming from distant lands, a trading caravan stopped uh, traversing these stony roads long ago, making this item a rare discovery. In the past, it was highly prized and its strength in poultices and balms. Or balms. Yeah, totally. It was not just he uh, heresy uh, anymore. The illness has reached Albero without warning. Uh, the outbreak and punishment of the miracle so often discussed came through a young man who arrived to our small congregation full of fear, wondering what his unforgivable sin had been to receive such a condemnation. Yeah, I believe this will be another item for the kissers, but at least we get this one out of uh, the way. Okay, we are still in the mountains of the Endless Dusk, and this is the item uh, just on top of Hondo. Red Sun technique required, let's see what it is. Okay, and empty bile vessel, always welcome, always welcome. Not necessarily what we've been uh, looking for, but uh, I can never say... I, I cannot say a no, no to uh, a new... A new flask, right? Uh, okay, guys, a quick update. In regards to, uh, to Hondo, these two items that I have marked over here, both of them require roots. As you can see, one of them is just right down there. So, once again, we will be back uh, here eventually. <laughs> Okay, while we are at it, I think I can totally spend some, uh, yeah, Tears of Atonement for an, a refill on the empty bilary vessel. Let's go. Yeah, now we have six. Six, uh, six flask, uh, flasks plus two. Okay, okay, now now we are in Grievance Ascends. If my memory serves me right, there is like um, a, a bunch of uh, red uh, sand uh, fireflies or spark in the air in this long corridor over here. If uh, we are talking about this item, however, I believe this is like a child of moonlight which is accessible only by roots. I vividly remember that. So let's try this one. A little bit fighting first. They will not make it easy on us. The lady just dipped. She disappeared. She got hit twice and she was like, uh uh, I'm leaving. Yeah, that's totally what I was. To oh, shit, she's back. <laughs> she's back. I, I I totally did not for, uh, forget about you, girl. You want me? You won't surprise me in such a way. Okay, okay, we are making it. We are making it work. Oh shit! Let's get up, get off the sand. All right, we are through. Well, definitely, we are through. But like, so what? Melted golden coins. What is this? Three gold pieces melted into a distorted mass that never loses its shine. Number three, I was there, I, w I bore witness to that creation. The hairs of the sisters grew and braided. Oh, I, I think I know what this refers to. Hype, hype. 
wrapping around them, making a terrifying crunching noise until it covered them completely, shaping itself as an egg, an egg made of rough, knotty uh, hair. I totally know what this refers to, this totally refers to this creature down here. If you guys remember, we offered already two items to this weird ha hairy egg. Uh, over here and we're still missing one i guess that's that's it M maybe this is an answer to our prayers i don't know there's also a child of moonlight up up there how do i access it trying to think about a good prayer to pop how about the the one that we currently have jump up penitent one please reach fuck that's not it huh that's not it. Let's look at the prayer. Will this work? I think it will. Totally freaking will. Yeah, let's go. Another one. Let's equip back the Zarabanda and we are totally good with, you know, clearing this spot. All right, let's move forward. Let's, let, let's go to the egg. This is this is good. This is good. I, I I totally forgot to be honest about that NPC. Let's go. Let's freaking go. It's been a while, definitely. Maybe the NPC is like a key to all of this roots thing. Yeah, we are going deep down below. Yes, the Child of Moonlight in here with the roots cannot access it in any way, shape or form. Can I not like pop the prayer in here from here? I guess not. Um, okay, what gives? Guys, I have the thing. Yeah. Okay, so if, 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 if I understand this passage correctly, if I understand it correctly... Yeah, the hair grew and braided, and that's what made the egg, huh? An egg made of rough, knotty hair. Okay, let's see, let's see. Absolutely, is this a boss fight? With this gold that melts between my fingers, I reject the riches of my betrothed. Okay, I totally remember them. Uh, like, I, if I if I remember, not totally remember, but if I remember correctly, all of them had like beef or like did not want to be married. That was the overall theme of every single one of those items. Okay, a cutscene. Let's go. Uh, or like. Ooh, the screen goes to black, I guess. Oh! One in silence. Who summons my three voices? This is a wacky design. Holy shit. I was not expecting this. The face is... I, I, I have to say, your face is a little bit off-putting, lady. Or, or maybe I, I, I should address them as they... Very unsettling. Three sisters became as one, thus birthing a grievous miracle called Altus Gracias. Altus Gracias, is that how I refer to this <coughs> entity? This egg conceals something of ours that still remains immaculate. Okay. Egg of deformity. What does this do? Take it with you, and thus take its purity away from us, for it is already too late for these deformed bodies. Alright. I do have to say, I really like the the sound effect that plays um in like the background uh, when they speak. It's like three separate voices being overlapped. Take it with you, and thus 
take its purity away from us, for it is already too late for these deformed bodies. Okay, I guess that's it. What do we do with the item? Um, Hirsute egg born of abomination. Its hairy shell hides unfathomable mysteries from prying eyes. The cruelty of a broken promise. Shaped Alta's gracious. And the affliction made her sorrow, sorrow into flesh. We still enclose our voices inside this egg, our tongues that endlessly twist and grow in order to escape. Knots of a freedom we never had. Our hair will cover this ovum with cold until the heat of embers makes it hatch. Okay, now we just have to find like a like a chicken or a hen that will like hunch this item. Well, it's like, what do you expect me to, to do with this? I don't know, maybe people in Albero can do something with this. I'm, I, the, the kissers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's also that guy in like the bath, ba <laughs> the frozen bathtub realm, the one that, uh, with which we traded our very first relic. It's been ages since we've seen that guy, but I, I, I guess, yeah, I, I, I guess I will visit Albero in a, um, in some time because I have, uh, you know, items to turn in. For now, I think I'll also check the Desecrated Cistern because I have that one relic that allows us to, like, jump uh, through, uh, through mud and sludge. Considering other areas, I think they are uh, pretty straightforward. I remember this being, like, behind the gate, um... There's, there are definitely routes in this area. Um, this is gated by the, the patio of the Silent Steps. These two items are gated by routes. Um, Library of the Negated Words. I don't remember this item, but... Yeah, I, I think we will check out the cistern and then we will go to Albero. Okay, we are in the Desecrated Cistern right now. As you guys can see, I cannot for the life of me jump up, but what if I pop that relic on? Mm-hmm. Let's remove this and put on this. Walk, uh, walks effortlessly through swamps and muddy marshlands. Yes, let's go. Just like that, I can interact with the child of Moonlight. And interact with the chest. Hype, hype. Zambra to the r something. That's that's a prayer. Oh, surprising. Hymn intoned to the rays of the sun, which generously bathe even the darkest of places. Its blessing increases the tears harvested by Meakupa for a while. Many yearn for these reminders of the miracle, but greed can prevent them from recognizing what truly matters. I cannot hold your hand, now that you sleep in the wind among the trees I cannot speak to you, now that you are singing with the midnight crickets I cannot see you, now that you are looking f uh, from the sun into the hot sand and I cannot forget you, for you will always be part of me in memory of Mariano Soler. Okay, how does it work? Let's, let's, let's just try it. Oh, so that ha- so, okay, I thought like it uh, being able to give us more Tears of Atonement was just like an additional thing and we will be able to like damage the enemies in one way, shape or form. But I guess this is a relic made purely for, for farming, huh? This might, might come in handy later on. Not that hot considering combat, I have to say. <laughs> Okay, get that uh, marker of the map, and there are several more. All right, now this room. Yeah, there is another shaky ground situation over here. I totally remember. 
my annoyance with this room when we came back to it uh, to it for the very first time. Okay, we got further this time, but now what? Okay. Does it open both of the gates? Amazing. Okay, okay, let's go. There's one more over here. There's one more over here and... Huh. Okay, another child of Moonlight. This is awesome. This is amazing. We will probably be able to get to, you know, lower levels of the Desecrated System, but I want to also check this one. I don't want to leave that behind if, uh, for whatever reason, you know, um, the game is opening up and presenting us with more of the Desecrated Cistern. While I believe it's just around the corner somewhere here. Oh my goodness. Is it here? Yeah, it should be somewhere here. This whole location is freaking confusing. Where the hell are we going and where the hell is the relic? Not the relic, where, where the hell is the thing? I cannot, to I totally have to go. Oh my god, that's so annoying. That's so annoying. That these, uh, that these rooms are not connected is sometimes so annoying. I, I, I picked wrong considering the doorway and suddenly there was no freaking path between the two between the two rooms no gate I have to say the desecrated cistern a little bit overstayed <laughs> it's welcome in my mind I'm a little bit annoyed by this uh, by this whole thing <laughs> uh, now that we have uh, like a way of uh, traveling through the the mud and the sludge, but you know, the the things they still fall of the uh, fall of the freaking uh, ceiling. We are uh, still being poisoned and attacked. Uh, like this location, definitely annoying. This is a a proper way of describing things, considering this location. Okay, bro. Finally, I'm somewhere here. Hit once again. Okay, I... Yeah, okay. 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 Perfect. Now, with the relic that we have equipped, let's jump up. And let's see what we are rewarded with. It better be something fucking amazing. Severed hand. I was not expecting this. A severed hand that tightly uh, grasps a broken bell, sometimes uh, afflicted by slight spasms. The affliction sometimes leaves its mark on mundane looking objects, unable to reveal the miracle under its mantle of corruption. As soon as the atrocious earth a tremor was heard, they knew something dreadful had happened. They searched for their master in the deepest parts of the cave, uh, where they were met with a gigantic dust cloud that extended far beyond their eyes and even through uh, and even though they called the name of their master there were no answers days went by until the cloud cleared and they could face the devastating consequence of the landslide uh, feeling hopeless but suddenly amidst their tears they heard a far away sound who the hell is this whose hand is this and what are we to do with it, huh? No freaking idea as of now. Maybe we will find more freaking answers deeper in this location? Question mark? Now we have to freaking jump our ass out of here. So annoying. The the the, fo the follow the falling toxins are so annoying. 
but we are making progress because it has to be stated. I'm so impatient. <laughs> I'm so impatient with it. I will find that there are many more enemies in the freaking um, in the freaking part of the desecrated cistern that we've just unlocked, and I will die due to my impatience. It would be freaking hilarious. Wait, where are we going? I was in the correct room. All of these freaking environments also looking the same. Okay, we are on good... Uh, on the correct path. Yeah, yeah, perfect, perfect. New content hype. New content hype, let's go. Where does this ladder take us? Towards more sludge. I think... I think, though, I will... Put on... Put this uh, stuff back on because we might uh, encounter some dead bodies providing us with more lore in regards to this whole thing. And whether we encounter a sludge, I will just pop the, pop the thing back on. Things that I think that's reasonable. Okay, a doorway. How about this one? Okay, nothing. We are going right, I guess. First. I guess let's go right first. Is, is this serious? Like, Penitent One, grab... <laughs> is this game serious? Penitent One, gran, grab onto that ledge. What is this? Holy mother of smokes. Okay, just more... Okay, just more items. I'm, I'm fine with that. I don't... I, 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 <laughs> what? I can't even read it. It makes no sense. Hyoid Bone of Senex, the beggar. Senex spent a lifetime feeling pain, which caused more and more suffering to his tormented soul. Only when he accepted pain as part of his life did he find the meaning to it. Of course. Turn the other cheek, guys. Oh! <laughs> what is this? That was uh, completely random, I have to say. Play a game in exchange for 2.5k. <sighs> this totally is like an Easter egg. I, I guess we will try it. What the hell? Will there be like a, a special simulation of the penitent one uh, uh, interacting with the thing? What the hell is this old school stuff? Blasphemous Alcazar of Grief. Okay. Credit one. We have just one life. Oh my god, that's so cute. This is so cute. This is so cute. Does every try cost me 2.5k? This old ass, old school vintage Mario 64 bit. Okay, I got the skull. Whatever that means. I I do really like the change of pace. This also reminds me of another game that I want to play on the channel. It's called a uh, Shovel Knight. I want to play it eventually. It looks rather familiar or rather similar to this one, especially the color scheme. The Shovel Knight, uh, the titular uh, Shovel Knight, has uh, an armor 
looking fairly close to what you are seeing right now. Can I grab onto this? Can I... Oh, okay. What the hell am I supposed to do right now? Map not available. Give me controls, goddammit. Okay, we are great, great. We are great at it. 25 or of something. That is so cool. It's so cool that it's in the game. I'm losing HP sadly. Oh shit. Uh oh. I have a bad feeling about this, guys. Oh. Yeah, game over. I tried to approach the thing in order to break it and then make the jump, but I don't know, this is what it is. Are we kicked out? I believe so. I believe we'll be kicked out. We've acquired Tears of Atonement. Okay, so we get Tears of Atonement also for playing this. Okay, we will eventually come back here and check this uh, stuff out. This is so cool. Such a vintage th uh, throwback. But we will need more uh, Tears of Atonement to get through this stuff, definitely. Let me put like a marker in here. But a special one. That's so funny. I, I, I totally saw the rat, like you, you can see the rat like crawling there, which is an indication. And also whenever we uh, for the very uh, first time encountered like this, I don't know, pipe over here, I always try to like slide my way through and also I'm looking for uh, hidden rooms. That's awesome. Okay, a special marker goes here. That was awesome. With this out of the way, I, I def definitely have to say I was not expecting this. A peculiar f uh, freaking thing. Definitely playing a, like an 8-bit or 64-bit or 16-bit um, <laughs> version of Blasphemous is not something I was expecting to get out of this episode. A way to approach the the freaking uh, roots, definitely. This thing, not at all. Okay, I'm a peculiar room. And I also see uh, two dead bodies. Let me put back the thing. What do you have to say? Half do not return. Everyone passes. Everyone passes, but half do not return. What are these uh, things on the wall over here? There are secrets somewhere? What was that noise? I don't I, I, I don't know. Th th this room is definitely fishy. I'm smelling like a secret in here. Huh. What can I do? Maybe I can uh, try to pop a prayer. Why not? The last time I popped the prayer, we found a hidden room. I guess nothing. Okay, I I, I smell there is something uh, fishy going on over here. I will also leave a marker here, a special one. And I will also delete this from the map. I already have it. Get out of my face. I went through so much tr trouble to get that other s other stuff. Okay. Bad news, bear. We need the freaking roots. We need the freaking roots over here. I I I guess I guess I guess I will delete also this marker because we've got the thing from the three sisters. Ah. Uh, this is a bummer. This is a bummer. Okay, no matter. I think I am kind of satisfied and I picked up two 
um, quest items or even three quest items throughout this entire journey so I will try to go back to El Bero and do something with them question mark and I will decide what to do uh, from there so oh, wait a minute wait a minute I was about to say see you in a minute there's another cut but what there's like a one on this Everyone passes, half do not return. Why did the Roman one appear on this? Everyone passes, half do not return. Let's leave the room again. Two. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Everyone passes half do not return. What type of a mathematical equation is this? And what is the game trying to tell me? What if we enter the room again? Is there gonna be a three? And a freaking four? Okay, it goes to four. Everyone passes half the not return, so what if we bring it to four and bring this to two? How does that sound? That sound stupid, but it just might work. This is so peculiar. This is an episode of freaking surprises. That's for sure. Everyone, as in four, that's the total. Oh, oh, something is happening. Let's go. I'm a freaking genius. <laughs> Do you have anything new to say? Everyone passes and half do not return. I mean, I am kind of baffled that we actually got to got to got to do it. This 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 playthrough is definitely looking fishy at this point to all of you blind playthrough enjoyers out there. We we found so many freaking secrets and we I actually figured this one out on my first try. I am impressed. Okay, it's just an item. It's just an item, though. But what item might that be? Silver grape? Oh, it's uh, for the rosary. A dead fruit covered into a bead. Uh, a dead fruit converted into a bead in a display of clerical vanity. It's called hardness, it passes on to its wearer, enhancing their defenses considerably. Another defensive item? What the hell? Like, my general defenses? So, from magic and the elements too? I already have this, which increases the defenses of whoever carries it, and now I have something that in enhances defenses considerably. Should I just switch the the Ember of the Holy Cremation for this? Confession from Dolphos. Part 2. I must melt more beads, as many beads as I can. I need their silver. I need their embellished uh, floral curves the virtue of silver will adorn my lungs inside and out and when i breathe the pure grace of miracle will penetrate to embellish my stomach inside and out and when i eat i will be nourished with the pure grace of the miracle what is this guy on about this is not a good idea bro it will ornament my eyes inside and out and when i look i will see the miracle itself How did that freaking go for you? Okay, I think... Huh. Too bad. Okay, one criticism towards the game. I would really wish for there to be a system that 
lets us know which items are good and which ones are bad. I mean, logically speaking, the Dove Scowl that slightly strengthens the Penitent uh, One's defenses is weaker um, than um, enhancing the defenses considerably. But I want to, I want to run the freaking numbers. You know, I want to know how much are we talking here. I think this will just sit in my invert inventory for the time being. Nah, to hell with it. Let's let's put it on. Enhancing my defenses considerably instead of increasing the defenses of whoever carries it. Okay, when I get another slot, I guess I can also put on the Ember of the Holy Cremation. At this point, I'm running like a tank build. But... I'm very pr proud of myself for uh, figuring this one out. Okay, as, as I was saying, uh, let's see you in a minute, we are going back to Albero. Okay, while we are at it, let's turn in some of the bones to our friendly sandboxing grandpa. <laughs> Look at him, this is so ridiculous. <laughs> He's like, he's just vibing, you know, on the beach when you, you know, going to the beach and, you know, um, digging up a hole, then going inside and covering yourself with sand. This is what the guy is doing and I refuse to believe otherwise. The bones, thank you for your help. Oh, virtuous penitent one. No problem. How much money are we speaking? Bring the bones before me, and we will... Okay, yes, yes. Oh, I got nothing. Bring the okay, is the path open? No, it's not. Oh, Sadly, I do believe we'll have to find every single one of the relic bones that are scattered throughout the land in order to progress the story of this guy. I don't, uh, I have 6k on me, I don't believe I'll be able to um, also buy myself the upgrade of the strong attack. Do I, is this still on the table? Yeah, 11k. No, it's a spinning attack as a combo finisher. Dried clave, yeah, I'm giving to you. Merciful be, penitent one. Okay. Wow, uh, we had 5.8 and now we are at 10.8, so we got 5 freaking K of that, that in that's insane. Time outside these walls, but if your penance happens, sorrowful be the hub. Okay, I totally thought I had uh, more items to offer to these guys. So we have a dried thing, okay, we have a thorn. No idea what that is used for. That key we've used. These are the items of the bosses. Mm. And this is the one that is related to the questline of Gemino. This is the main quest item that we've picked up after the very last boss fight in the Mother of Mothers. This we don't know what to do, and with this we also don't know what to do. Okay, how about the window guy? Oh, and there are totally still more and more people showing up in the background. Love it. Okay, nothing from them. I am kind of curious at this point about this mechanic of, like, offering them stuff. But as I'm rather frugal, I will hold on to my, you know, Tears of Atonement until we, um... Until we upgrade the Penitent One further and buy everything, you know? It's been a while since we've met Candelaria and her shop. Which is rather surprising, so maybe she's like an early game merchant, you know? It's like in only the, in the in the early game, I believe there were like three locations that she was in. Uh, it was here in the graveyard of the peaks. It was in Mercy Dreams, if I if I recall correctly. And there, I think there was one more location. 
can't really recall. Okay, let's go in and let's see whether this guy wishes to help us. Kind of a confusing and lackluster episode, but it is what it is. I was not expecting to spend so much time in these, uh, on this freaking backtracking, but you know, I'm not complaining about all of the new items, new lore, and new characters that we met. You want to give the severed hand? I, I guess so. At the time of its death, before the journey, the miracle kissed the hand of the master. Stopping the corruption of the flesh and granting him a new grace. Okay. In the name of the High Wills, I bless this relic. Watch over it, for it is now pure and sacred. Okay, amazing. Just like this, another relic? How does it, uh, work? Um, not the map. The relic. There are still two more to go. In corrupt hand of the fraternal master, sacred relic in a perfect state of conservation. The hand shakes gently when it considers it necessary, secretly articulating by ethereal muscles and tendons. The bell that it's holding warns the wearer of the nearby presence of a mystery. After all, no bastion is safe from the tenacity of the truly curious. God damn, what are you referring to, Mr. Hand? I can I could have sworn I have like a, a, a thing like this and already and I still don't know fully how to use it. The immaculate bead. No, no, it, it was this. Strangely one could swear to hear a slight tinkling in the present of Presence of strange energies. I, I don't know whether that's the case. I have not been uh, using this one. Um, the immaculate beat is this useless one. Yeah, devoid of purpose. Um, it, it, but it, I, I've read a comment in the comment section down below that I should totally try it on and I will find out what it uh, what its purpose is. And I should remember when I where I found it. If my memory serves me right, God damn it! I have to exit the thing. I have to exit the thing. But if my memory serves me, let's let's exit so I have so you know I have visual aid in this freaking presentation. If my memory serves me right, um, we found it somewhere. Okay, I don't remember where. <laughs> I have no idea where we found it. But, um, but its descriptions. Mm, it description mentions that it comes from the darkness of, of the ocean floor. Contemplate its purity. Look at its immaculate white, its virgin brilliance. What could be purer than this for your rosary brother? As it mentions, like the ocean floor, I thought that it might be in a way related to the location of the Echoes of Salt or maybe the locations that we found not so long ago, uh, this, the Morning and Havoc, because, you know, the Echoes of Salt, it is like underground, and the lore that was found over there was mentioning that the, you can hear, like, mm, the, um, the thunder or, like, the sounds of waves in that place, so I thought... Uh, thought, okay, uh, the item is related to water, and the Echoes of Salt is related to water, maybe the, those two are connected, and similarly, uh, the the location over here, yeah, the Morning and Havoc, there are also, like, destroyed ship, uh, ships in the backgrounds uh, of this particular place, even though we've just, like, entered it uh, for a split second. So I'll have to still figure out what I have to do with this item uh, and with those uh, locations. Okay, that out of the way, let's read the... <laughs> let's read, like, the... The lore associated with the hand, as soon as the atrocious earth tremor was 
Okay, okay. Uh, the 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 lore did not change. Can the can the can the statue over the saint please also do something with the egg? Bring me anything that can God be damn it. So you might crush this fate of mine and let me. So the egg is not a relic, huh? Our hair, hair will cover this ovum with cold until the heat of embers makes it hatch. Until the heat of embers makes it hatch. What are we talking about? What are we talking about, Mr. Item Description? What embers? I don't believe I found like... Uh, I don't believe I found like... A fire. I mean, there was fire in this place, but I, uh, the charred visage, right? I, I, I was uh, thinking about. Oh, wait, we have not found like a location that has a theme of you know fire and heat. So I have no idea what to do with this info. <laughs> this is so sad. This is so sad. Okay, I, I, so I, I, I have to uh, sit and think on the, on the items that I've got. Huh? All right. Okay. Fine. Fine. Fine by me. Okay. Um, we are rather. Okay. 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 This is perfectly fine. Okay. So how about we tackle a new freaking location still in this video? Um, I, uh, you know, sat on it, I thought about it, and I think I'll go to the sleeping canvases first. So I'll make a, a cat over here and see you on the other side. Bye bye. Uh, you guys might be wondering why I chose the sleeping canvases. It, it was uh, done. With no particular reason in mind, I just thought to myself, we found the sleeping canvases first out of the three locations that are currently available for us to progress, so let's go there first. There is no like deeper meaning behind this. Okay. What the hell is this? Oh shit! <laughs> That's so wanky. That's so awesome. Evil freaking paintings? That's so cool. And these are like, huh, freaking golden humans walking around. Cannot, you, you cannot kill them for good. You, you get no use of, of atonement for uh, for them. Very peculiar. <laughs> what the hell is this? I remember this any but on a smaller scale. Okay. Cool, cool. We got an upgraded version of like the tomb knights in here. Let's go. Let's go to the right first. Okay, some wacky stuff is going over here. Sense Fortress type of a situation. Oh, not good. Can I jump over this? I think I can. Oh shit, I made it. <laughs> Masterful gameplay over here. Okay, let's go, let's go. What do you have to offer location? This guy is so freaking tanky. Okay, you guys are not very challenging. It's a great farming spot, it seems, though. Oh shit, this guy's back.
the, the flame breathing monstrosity is back. Oh shit, I'm I'm popping a prayer. Get him. Get him! Nice. Very useful. Oh shit. And if I uh, saw correctly, my prayer was also getting rid of the, the freaking um, projectiles that the monster... <laughs> Stop. Stop knocking me around. Now is the correct timing. Now jump over this. Now let's go. Oh, this is wacky. This is wacky. Oh shit. Oh no. Okay, I have to get out of that predicament as fast as possible. Okay, I already like this location. Oh my goodness. I don't like getting a hit of the thing though. Oh shit. Okay, this is fine. This is a safe spot, I believe. Pop a heal. Okay, let's get out of here. Nice, nice. Oh, let's go. Let's go, let's go, but this is also very surprising. I was not expecting this whatsoever. There is like pre-due pre -due just around the corner. And another one so soon. Is, is there a boss fight to the left? Oh my goodness. The moon is out tonight with a long-tailed gown and a bull stares at her between the rock rose and the shadows. Huh? This is totally puzzling. The moon is out tonight with a long-tailed gown, and a bull stares at her between the rock rose and the shadows. No idea what that reference is. I do like the paintings in the background and the music in this particular place. It totally looks, um, you know, <laughs> Christian, right? Um, having the paintings of the saints reminds me of, like, these, um, you know, middle, uh, middle ages uh, paintings and, you know, scenes out of mythology and stuff, Zeus, or something like that in here. Okay, let, let's, let's look at the room, though. Oh, it truly might be a boss fight, but, like, we can totally get out of the room. Oh, wait. Yeah, this is literally what we've seen. O on the freaking... I mean, what we've heard that corpse talk about. What is this? I'm afraid. You have found some of my brothers. <laughs> Out of all of the things I was not expecting for the freaking bull to speak to me, and let alone is in such a boyish and cheerful voice. Though, I still ask you to find the rest of them. Please, keep this canvas made from the gold of our faces, and my brothers will guide you. Okay, I can only assume that the bull is referencing the Children of Moonlight. Our current standing is, I believe, around 23 out of 38. Um, okay, we are going in? What the fuck is this? Penitent one, in finding these holy brethren of mine, you have completed the vision of my birth which was painted on a sleeping canvas. What the hell is going on here? Okay, now I'm scared. What type of a monstrosity is this? Are, are you telling me I shouldn't have been, you know, freeing the children of Moonlight? My name being Hothinero. Hothinero. I was born of the moon and of the torment of a brave bull and of myself by the grace of high wills. 
my holy brethren. Okay, born of the moon and the torment of a brave bowl, uh, and of myself by the grace of high wills, my holy brethren. Bro, I do have to say this is freaking beautiful. This is definitely thumbnail worthy. I cannot reiterate enough how much I love the, the visuals of this game. Okay, linen of golden thread. What the hell is this now? <laughs> we, we, are, we are just going insane in this very episode. Talking to the freaking painting, talking to like a child that emerges from its corpse, getting relics, being transported in and out. What is this? Okay, that's another relic. Product of a spinning wheel that only turn on full moon nights. This thin thread was plated to immortalize its progeny. Bestowed as a gift by the firstborn, it allows the penitent one to descend into bottomless abysses. Huh. Bottomless abysses. Are, are, are we fighting the, the freaking Artorias, the abyss walker in this freaking episode? What is what is happening? What are you saying? Bottomless abysses. Do you by any chance mean like, for example, this shaft? Throughout the playthrough, I, I, I've seen like these places where there is like this mist around pits, but I don't know whether the the relic is in any way, shape or form meaning that. When I tried to, because there is an item on the bottom of this shaft, I tried dropping from up here to the to the bottom of the thing. I remember that. I remember that happening, and I freaking died instantly. And there is an item down there. I've been there today by doing my you know backtracking mission, and there is an item over here that is in no way, shape, or form, um available to you by any means like there's just no way of um approaching it from the ground floor there is like an elevator down there and like above it is is the item but there are no roots there is no um red sand um platform inside nothing so maybe it truly allows us to drop from from here all the way down there i i don't know that would be pretty cool that just means we get another way of traversal and another way of of acquiring items with this very relic. We'll have to pop it on and see how it works eventually. Can I talk to you again, my friend? Do I get anything out of you if I... If Please I... find the rest. Okay, I think this is the, the, the confirmation. I will get something out of him if I find the other, um, the other children of moonlight. Okay, that's what he has to say, and he kicks me out of his realm, freaking demonic realm. This looks like a like like an optional boss. I I, I can I can say that for sure. No way is this little, you know, child with a golden visage, you know, bathed in blood. Uh, friendly right even though it has like a, this childish voice that i was uh, mentioning right now let's also the moon is out tonight with a long-tailed gown and the bull stares at her between the rock house and the shadows rock rose okay very interesting very, very peculiar P peculiar okay um I think that's going to be uh, it for today, considering the video, it was very hectic and there will be like a, a million freaking um, cuts in, in this very one, uh, so sorry about that, but we found a lot of uh, new things, uh, definitely. 
Um, I don't know how much footage exactly I have, but if uh, you know the timer, um, if my timer uh, truly uh, shows me the correct thing, because I, I actually forgot to put it on and uh, a couple of times, so I'm not entirely sure whether we are past the one hour mark, um, but whatever, right? It, it is what it is. If we don't have an hour of content, I'm sorry, but if we do, that's good. <laughs> uh, yeah, what a, what a wacky episode. I... Um, I don't want to go deeper into the sleeping canvases because uh, I can already see that this is kind of a, a big location. Uh, the fact that there is a preview right here is 100% indicative of uh, the fact that the bull is a boss fight. Or, or like the child, the child of Moonlight is a boss fight. There's no other reason in my mind that a preview would be here if it wasn't the case. Because there is just uh, one right over here. Uh, and I don't want uh, to also prolong the video because, uh, you know, going further into this location, if uh, that is uh, just a backtracking episode with a few cool discoveries, that's perfect. Fine. Um, okay, yeah, I have to say a really cool, uh, a, a really cool uh, episode and we got to meet some new characters and pro progress certain quest lines. I am very glad with i'm very glad with how it uh, turned out but i'm still sad that we don't have access to the roots just yet um but it is what it is i did my best <laughs> um yeah in regards to what we will be doing in the following episode i have to think of what to do in order to get uh, the roots and i think in the next one it is now i, I am now confirming uh, and promising that we'll be uh, going through the, the entirety of sleeping canvases or at least uh, the portion that is available to us if there is a gate eventually uh, down the line. Well, thank you very much for watching, like, comment and subscribe, but do it only if you feel like it. It is always greatly appreciated though when you guys do, because it helps the channel a great deal. And speaking of the channel, uh, also check it out. For similar blind playthroughs to this one, there may be something in there that piques your interest. For the very last time, thank you very much for watching, um, and see you in the very next one. Bye-bye, uh, stay safe and take good care of yourselves, my beautiful people. Bye-bye! Uh,